Hello, everyone. Thought I'd uh, make a video on uh, how you can uh, create a batch file uh, to run a little bit of maintenance on your Windows 7 and actually Windows XP to Windows 8 computer. So uh, let's just open a notepad quickly and we'll just leave that minimized and then we'll go to uh, computer. And two things you need are CCleaner. So let's open another program. Let's go to majorgeeks.com and we'll type in uh, CCleaner and wait for the results. Uh, get the standard. Um, I think that that's the latest one, especially for Windows 8. Uh, the Slim it hasn't been updated yet. Okay. Another one that uh, I use is MRU Blaster. Very small file. Here it is here. When you set this up, okay, when you install it, just uncheck everything. If it asks you to uh, create a scheduled task and uncheck uh, to run at startup and everything else and uncheck run now, okay? Um, but it's fine though. It's been around for, well, there you go, 10 years. So we'll close this down. With that said, um, let's find CCleaner. On my computer, it's going to be in C program files under CCleaner. All right. So we'll take that, highlight the address, control C, copy, and we'll do a CD and we'll put it in just for to keep everything straight in quotes and in between the quotes we paste that in with uh, control V, press space and type start. And then let's get make sure we get the name right. So I'll just go to properties, highlight that, control C. Okay, back to the uh, notepad, paste that in. And then after that, a slash auto, all right? Now let's go to program files 86. Look for MRU blaster. Again, same, same drill. We'll just uh, highlight and type in CD, CD and paste that in and that should be in quotes just to be sure and start and start by type here just so there's no mistake we'll get the proper name and paste that in and then we're going to add a dash one dash and si silent sorry all right so that takes care of two programs you can install and use. Now let's open a administrative prompt. And we'll type in uh, uh, clean. Press tab. It'll complete it for you. Clean manager, which is disk clean. Uh, sage. Set. Space. Uh, there's several options to do this there's lots of blogs on settings setting this up so I'll do a tune up uh, colon nine nine press enter and uh, here's your uh, cleanup settings it might vary uh, depending on which Windows version you're using but you can uh, tick most of these and pick and choose what you want I leave out thumbnails because I use them and I also leave out file user file history and what that does is it, like if you go to save your a text file or any file in your documents and if you're not watching it'll save somewhere else I think in your root folder so I keep that um, unticked okay and another uh, suggestion is when Windows update cleanup is run it says you might need to restart your computer so so that's fine and I'll just arrow up one and I'll change sage set to sage run but I'm not going to run it right now but this is a command we're going to put in our notepad all right so I'll go up to the very top and we'll run that first so it's clean mgr and you don't need to put dot exe actually sage run tune up 
colon nine nine. All right. Uh, you can go further and set up a defrag, but uh, that should be good enough. So you just type in uh, shutdown uh, dash r uh, dash t for time. So uh, the dash r is for reboot, t is for time, and zero zero is the time in seconds or whatever. Uh, so it will re restart immediately, and we'll do a file save as, and make sure it's your documents. Make sure it's all files. And we'll just call it cleanup up dot b a t and save. Close this and we'll exit out of here. Go back to documents. And there it is there. Okay. Pretty simple. And what I'm going to do since uh, I'm recording, I'm not going to shut down right away. So if you want to not run something, you just put uh, two just to be on the safe side, two colons beside it there, and then save and close. Now to run this, you have to run it as administrator, so just right click on it and select run as administrator, and then say yes to the UAC prompt, and you see disk cleanup is running, and it uh, might take some time or it might be fairly quick. Okay, it's near finished, and then down at the bottom, right on the tray, if you have everything, it should show CCleaner comp fairly quickly after this is done. There it is there. And that's it. It ran an uh, MRU blaster silently, which clears most recently used files. And you should be all set. So anything you had for your run command will be cleared and anything else you typed in. All right. So just a quick little um, bit on that, and uh, I'll post the plain text so you don't have to bother downloading. And you just copy it into a notepad and save it the way I did, and you can change it uh, to what you like. Okay, so that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.